This is the story of the decade. This is the story that affects all of us. This is the story of Antarctica. Yep, that's me, licking a small iceberg that could have been millions of years old. It originated from the huge glacier over there, which was formed when snow accumulated on land and compressed into a solid chunk of ice which broke off into the ocean. All this snow over Antarctica serves much more than just aesthetic purposes. It actually reflects excess heat back into space, thus keeping the planet cooler. But due to climate change, the Antarctic ice is melting at an unexpectedly rapid rate, which causes more heat to retain on Earth that melts more ice, which then causes more heat to retain on Earth that melts more ice, which then causes more heat to retain on Earth that You get the idea. This melting of ice inevitably threatens the lives of people living in low-lying island nations worldwide. And also, this guy. How does this matter for our story? Inside this petri dish contains an Antarctic krill. These tiny krills may look like nothing at first glance, but they play a huge role in our ecosystem. The Antarctic krill is a small swimming crustacean that lives in the Southern Ocean and it forms the very foundation of the food web here in Antarctica. All sorts of animals from fishes, penguins and even gigantic whales feed on them, creating an entire ecosystem that only existed because of these humble little crustaceans. The krill spend a large part of their juvenile life hiding within the ice. And if this icy protection is gone, less krill can survive till adulthood. And with less adult krill, there's less food to go around, which leads to a lower number of other animals that rely on it, and boom! Eventual collapse of the food web. Our story doesn't end here. Let's move over to Peterman Island and take a look at these tuxedo waddlers here. These are the Gen 2 penguins. They are one of the four species of penguins we can find on Antarctica. These cute little blubbers can be found not only on the mainland of Antarctica, but also on many of the islands around the continent and are generally doing pretty well. Unlike these other derpy looking penguins. These are the chinstrap penguins and their numbers have been falling for years. These two penguin species are affected by climate change really differently and that's because of one word, adaptability. Gen 2 penguins forage over continental shelves and don't go far out to sea, while chin straps rely on floating sea ice for breeding and feeding, which, yep, is slowly disappearing. Also, while both penguin species do rely on krill for survival, unlike the pickier chin straps, Gen 2s can cope with a declining krill population by relying on alternative food sources high up the trophic levels, such as fish. These factors, alongside others such as the increase in rainfall over Antarctica, can really cause species that are unable to adapt quickly enough to suffer. Rainfall? Yep, because of the rise in global temperatures, the one stable weather pattern in Antarctica has changed and that has affected many of the wildlife living here. One such effect is the increase in divorce rates in the albatross. Do, 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 do. I'm an albatross! Yep, that albatross. Albatross mate for life and only lay one egg at a time, which takes about two months to hatch. However, if the couple doesn't breed successfully, eventually the female albatross will dump the male in search of a different mate. With the rising temperatures, it causes issues such as increased stress level due to the decline in food sources and higher rates of breeding failure. And that can lead to... Let's just say that a bunch of mama albatross will be back on the market again for the next season. With all these disrupted wildlife behaviours, scientists have recruited help from an unexpected secret agent. The big and beautiful elephant seal! Being deep divers of up to 2,000 meters, as well as a major predator in the Southern Ocean, elephant seals dominate the upper levels of the food web. Scientists attach data logging devices on the heads of the elephant seals, transforming them into secret agents. When the seals dive into the icy waters to hunt, they gather valuable information about the marine environment, from water temperatures to salinity to dissolved oxygen levels that will otherwise be very difficult to collect. These seals play an essential role in understanding the changing dynamics of the Antarctic ecosystem due to climate change. Here's my seal of approval. Elephant seals aren't the only animals that are helping with the climate crisis. Nature also brought out its big guns. And I mean big guns. These gentle giants swim through the ocean eating one of the smallest animals you can find here. Yes, krill. As they swim up and down the water column, these ocean giants act as whale pumps, recycling nutrients and keeping them moving so that they don't settle down to the ocean floor where it becomes inaccessible to other marine life. Many whales also migrate across oceans from nutrient-rich feeding grounds to nutrient-poor breeding grounds where they release a trail of poop and pee in these great whale conveyor belts. This nutrient-rich waste feeds the phytoplankton, a tiny organism living in the sea, and that in turn feeds the krill, supporting this intricate food web. Oh, 
Phytoplankton also accounts for about 40% of total carbon removed from our atmosphere yearly. So if we work backwards, phytoplankton thrive where whales are and whales survive on krill which begin their life cycle under the sea ice. As climate change slowly strips away these foundations of the Antarctic food web, we are increasingly walking on thin ice that could result in a catastrophic outcome. It's so crazy to think that our actions right here can have such a huge impact on the environment and wildlife living so far away. It is not too late for us to make a difference, but we need to start right now. Each individual krill may not amount to much, but as a whole, they can support an entire ecosystem. Just like the krill, if we all play our part and work together, we might just be able to turn this ship around before hitting that iceberg. <laughs>